Hey guys, welcome to Dog Details. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Martingale dog collars. And if you are watching this video because you're trying to figure out how to adjust your dog's new Martingale, or maybe you took the collar off and when you tried to put it back on, it seemed a lot smaller and it won't even fit over his or her head. Well, we should be able to set things straight for you in this video. Whether this is your first time adjusting a martingale or you just are having problems getting it back on. Okay, so a martingale collar has two loops. The large loop goes over the dog's head and the small loop is where the leash is attached so that when the dog pulls, the small loop pulls up, which in turn causes the large loop to tighten around the dog's neck. But sometimes when adjusting the length or just when a person hurries up to try to put the martingale on, those two loops get jumbled up, or more likely a loop is created that's not actually meant to be a loop. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so here you see me pull the adjuster loop, which is the wrong thing to do, and the collar is not going to fit because it can't be further adjusted to fit over the head. Also, even if you were to get it, get it over the head, the martingale would not work properly. I readjust the collar and you can see the mistake I made. So the collar on the left is wrong and the collar on the right is correct. Can you spot the problem with the collar on the left? Okay, so hopefully that helped. And now I want to talk about a safety precaution. It's really, really important to take the martingale off when either the dog's not being supervised or you're not using it for a walk or a training session or even if the dog is playing. So I actually highly recommend this type of collar, a martingale, for dogs that pull on walks or for a training collar, especially if you have a sight hound. But be sure when you finish your walk or training session, take the martingale off. You can replace it with a regular flat collar with a snap or a buckle closure. Also, um, as I said before, don't allow your dog to play with a martingale on. The reason um, to take the, the precautions is the smaller loop could potentially get caught on a fence, a knob, or even the jaws of another dog. So the dog wearing the martingale might quickly react by twisting, turning, and pulling. Um, they won't understand that those actions are making things much worse. So the loop around their neck could continue to tighten and strangle them. So also if they're playing with another dog, um, the other dog might get their jaw caught within the small loop. And the result for that dog could possibly be a broken jaw. While unfortunately the dog that's wearing the martingale could be strangled. So again, just be aware that these things can happen and um, definitely use the martingales for training and walks, but remove them for the activities that I spoke about. So for just a little bit about the martingale, it was originally designed for sight hounds. So like greyhounds, feral hounds, Ibethan hounds, Scottish deer hounds, uh, whippets, as their heads are smaller than their necks. So a regular flat collar or a buckle collar can just slip right over their head if they decide to pull. And then you'd have a loose dog running like 45 miles an hour down the street. So uh, these collars stay loose when the dog is behaving, but it tightens when the dog pulls, which keeps them from slipping out of the collar. This collar is also preferred by many trainers um, instead of a traditional choke chain. All the collars used in this video were made by Fairy Tail Collars, and you can find them on Etsy, and I will also put a link to their shop in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us here, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below, and we'll see you again soon.